Glen Torrance started promisingly at solitude down Lockhart's cross giving Reds keeper Eamon Gallagher the chance to shine in saving from Sean Armstrong. Controversy in 25 minutes, Glen's keeper Alan Goff seemed to handle outside the box. Referee Stephen Weatherall decided the usual red card wasn't required. Escape for Goff. Just before the break, Tim McCann set up Justin McBride, but he squandered the opportunity. Cliftonville showed its mettle in the second period, and Gary Smith's slice clearance gave Chris Scannell a heading chance, but John Kennedy cleared the danger. The goal which decided the tie came with just four minutes left. Gallagher fouled McBride, though the home side argued that Glenn Stryker was theatrical in his response. Scott Young kept calm, though, and the stylish midfielder put the holders through with a neatly taken penalty. After erratic league form, good news for Glenn's boss, Roy Coyle. We knew we had to bring uh, more pride back into the team and to the club. And certainly the lads' attitudes and neighbours are a hell of an improvement as it was last Saturday. And they got their just rewards because without doubt, I don't think that Lawrence Stitt and Mal Donegal argue that we, we could have uh, more clear-cut chances over the 90 minutes. 